They would need a trademark attorney, somebody that has uh, expertise with uh, filing application, preparing the application, preparing the specification of goods, identifying the classes to register in, um, and then doing a search to make sure that uh, it is a mark that's not already registered, and then having established it's clear, or removing the problems if there are problems, filing the application. Um, if we're looking at the in the UK, that would be at the Intellectual Property Office. File the application, it'll get examined and then registered. Uh, and it's the same in every country of the world. Every country has its own Intellectual Property Office. And in China, we work with uh, local attorneys there that help us to do that. Um, or the alternative route for uh, China would be to use the Madrid Protocol, which is a cost-saving mechanism for getting protection in up to 75 countries around the world by filing one application designating lots of countries. And China is a member of that. It's a very useful way to get protection in China, mm -hmm. particularly at the moment because um, through the Madrid Protocol, China have to accept applications covering more than one category of goods or services. If you file nationally at the, UK, at the China Trademark Office, they'll only accept the application for one class. So you'd have to f duplicate the cost. If, you, if your interest, say, was in fashion products, you might want to go in class 25. You might want to go for leather goods in class 18. There may be an interest in perfume products in class 3. So you'd have to file three applications. But if you go through the Madrid Protocol, which cuts out that system, you can cover um, all three classes with one application. In Europe, you just register in class 25 for clothing and footwear. In China, they have subclasses within 25, and clothing is in one, footwear is in another. So if you only register in one of those subclasses, you don't get protection for footwear, and the trademark office will allow somebody else to register the identical mark for the footwear side of things. So you can quickly come unstuck. You think you've got something protected, but you actually haven't um, covered all the bases. So China is a market which requires a level of, of, of planning. It's actually quicker to go through the Madrid route because countries that sign up to that protocol have to uh, examine and publish and register a mark within 12 months it's, it's, uh, or even, well, 18 months if they have a, a slightly different examination system. So they are required by virtue of their membership of the Madrid Protocol to do things within that short period of time. If you file nationally in China, it can take an awful lot longer because they're under no obligation to examine things as quickly. So applications filed through the Madrid Protocol route will take priority and, and will get registered more quickly. It's a real challenge, it is, to get it right, and there are examples of companies that have got it wrong. Um, you need to work with marketing experts, you need to work with the trademark attorneys to make sure that whatever you come up with is clear for use and can be registered as well. Um, it, 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 you need to work with people that are experts in the language to make sure that, because in some cases, some marks, they, uh, like Coca-Cola, is translated into a name that sounds the same as Coca-Cola. So there you have sort of a phonetic translation. Some Western marks don't, it's not possible to do that. So then you might look for a mark, a, a, a name in Chinese that has a positive meaning. And it doesn't sound anything like the Western trademarks. Alfred Dunhill would be man on, happy man on hill. So it, it's creating a, 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 an impression, uh, something marketable that says something about your business. So it is quite a, quite a challenge and you need to work with people that are experts in the language, uh, marketing experts and, and obviously legal people to make sure that having found something that sounds right, looks right, it gets searched and registered in exactly the same way as the Latin trademark would. <laughs>